you know, in games like this, plays have to be made. Big shots have to be made, big defensive plays, just key plays. And you can only find that out by being in these spots. We didn't do that against West Virginia. We did against Ohio State. And then we had some guys do it today. You know, Mamadi had a big shot. Kyle, we made our free throws London. So it was just one of those games where hopefully it, it revealed some good things that we can build on. We, it, you know, I decided to open up the floor and go with four guards to start the second half. They scored pretty quick, and it didn't look like a great move. But I just thought that the court needed to get spread out, needed to get a little more shooting and scoring. That's why I started Kyle. Um, and then we, I, I just thought, even though I was worried about the defense and the things we gave up, but I thought if we're going to win this game, we got to get some easier scoring or guys got to at least get better attempts. We were laboring to score most of the game. Got good looks in the first half, but we were just the guys were struggling. Our bigs were having a hard time. So the four guards was a bit of a gamble. But I think Devin did a good job at the four spot. It allowed Kyle to you know, stretch it with some shooting. London to get in the lane a little more. Darius and... Um, and we just kind of fought through it, and we're good enough defensively with that small lineup. Not great, but good enough. And coming down the stretch there, Isaiah, you, you know, he had a tough matchup with yep. with Ivan Rab all day. Um, being able to do that, have that and one to put you up yeah. three. It's a nice pass, a good finish, big free throw that he made. Uh, he did a good job defensively all game, um, so that was huge. We needed that. You just you can try to run stuff, but. If you're going to win games in tough settings against good teams, plays have to be made, whether it's a guy going and getting a shot, uh, getting an and one, a defensive play. And that was nice to see a few plays being made in that setting. And uh, London obviously had a great performance here in front yeah. of his uh, at homecoming game. Yeah, you saw, boy, he got I'm so glad he started the way he did because we, um, you know, we, we were really laboring to score, and we needed that just to stay attached to them. Our defense was solid, but scored, I think, the first nine points and just, you know, kept us in there. And then we went through that drought. But uh, he, they were dogging him and guarding him hard, but he uh, made some big plays, and I'm so happy for him. And ACC next. Yeah, no, it, it, it steps up even more. Obviously, I know Louisville's a heck of a team, but I'm going to enjoy Christmas and uh, have a, a good red-eye flight back, and we'll, uh, we'll address Louisville when the time's right. Made plays throughout the game, but... We kind of hit a cold stretch, and then they came back. But we we just fought. I mean, we talk about fighting every every single day. Um, we came out, and we, we we just we just gutted that win out. Obviously, you can't do it all yourself, even yeah. though you kind of did early in the game. Mm -hmm. Were you kind of curious to see who who would step up in mm -hmm. those key moments, like guys did? Yeah, I mean, I I knew it was gonna come. We we were missing some chippies, um, some open shots. Um, we shoot these shots all the time, so it's 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 rare for us to miss all of them. Um, and they started to fall towards the end of the game, and we needed everything we can get. Your crew and Jack's crew were not the only UVA fans in the building. Did mm -hmm. you hear the chants? Yeah, particularly late, late in the game. Yeah, it was it was big it was big time. I mean, it shows we got a lot of a fan base everywhere. Uh, UVA travels, um, and, we, and we needed all of it. What does that mean to you to see look up at section seven and see that that's your you know, your old oh yeah, that was that was that was fun. It was <laughs> fun to see all of them, um, and I get to watch them tomorrow play. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I'm just so happy to see everybody and family, uh, old high school. It's, it's just, it was just an amazing feeling to be out there again in front of everybody. So, did you have an extra kind of extra little extra juice there early on? Oh uh, well, he, it, I had a little juice when Coach Bennett drew up a play for me for the first for the first play for the first play of the game. He drew up a play. He said, "Come on, shoot the ball." So. That right there got me a little, ju a little juicy, knowing that he, I guess he knew that I was in front of my parent, my family and all that stuff. And so once I got that first one to go in, and it was kind of just started getting rolling from there. You guys in the second half started with one for four guards again, but in the end though, mm -hmm. it went back to just three guards and, and Zay and yeah. Mamadi were in there. Those two guys hit those big shots. So yeah. Figure something out toward the end. Yeah, I mean, they, we, Zay missed some easy layups uh, at the beginning of the game, and uh, Mamadi missed a, uh, I mean, I, I, he could shoot the ball, so I knew when he shot it, it was going to be a good look for us. He knocked it down, um, but it, we, we, we're just trying to figure out a way to be able to do the four guard lineup and then also stick to our traditional two bigs. So um, I think we showed a little bit of both, obviously, today, and it, and it, it helped. So. Kyle has had kind of those shooting sprees, like mm. at home against maybe lesser opponents, yeah. to do it. Like on, in this environment, on the road against a team like yeah. Cal, we, we, let's say a little something more. About I, had, I I got the utmost faith in his jump shot. I, when we came in to, it was like 30 seconds left, and we knew they were gonna foul. I wanted, I actually wanted to get the ball to Kyle. So, I do. We I told Coach to drop a place. So we can get the ball to Kyle because I knew he was gonna knock the free throws down. And 
Um, we, we just we work on it too much. He's such a pure shooter. He's a, he's a good player, um, but we everybody I think has really a lot of faith in him on the offensive end. So.